Now at 6 o'clock, new ammunition to fight armed criminals in Chicago. Real-time gun tracing and ballistics testing is the goal of a newly formed crime gun intelligence center in the loop. The goal is to speed up the process of holding gun offenders accountable. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is looking into the model and whether it's worked so far in other cities. In today's world, we've got to be intelligence-led and technology driven. Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco explained that the new Crime Gun Intelligence Center or CGIC at Jackson and Wells will expand on the center already maintained by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives or ATF, which has a database of over six million pieces of ballistics evidence. The ability to squeeze every last piece of evidence and information out of a gun used at a crime to help both track down the shooter and also figure out who the shooter's supplier was for that firearm. CPD Superintendent Larry Snelling said the collaboration, which will be composed of 65 agents, officers, analysts, and prosecutors, all under one roof working together to get shooters off the streets, will be focused on speed. Each gun we recover that has been used in a crime is traced within 24 hours. It's far from the first of its kind in the country, although we're told Chicago's Gun Crime Intelligence Center will have a particularly unique emphasis on the role of prosecutors. Columbus, New York City, and Denver have seen success with their models. Denver's was the pilot when it was created in 2013. A 2020 study of its effectiveness found an immediate drop in violent crime with a firearm when the intelligence center opened. There was also an immediate drop in robbery. These stakeholders hope Chicago sees the same tangible reduction in crime here. This is a higher level of work that's being done here. A more intelligent way of getting to the bottom of gun crime. 13 different law enforcement agencies will have representation in this gun crime intelligence center. The federal government has invested more than $40 million in centers like this one across the country. In the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.